So let's take a look on uh, the reassemble of this one. I have already begun with the setting lever, uh, sliding pinion and uh, winding pinion here. So we can actually, we don't need to see that all the time. Uh, because if you have watched my other videos, then you know what to do, right? So, uh, as you know, I'm very generous oiling this part. I think I can uh, leave it like that for now. And something more. I want it to feel really good when you wind this watch. So we'll continue with the yoke. Showing you this uh, a little bit. No, the light doesn't. It's, it's not so good here, but there you go. And uh, yeah, we'll place it. to add something more as I have seen in the instructions before. There also. This is, this is good. So we would like to add the yolk spring now. Probably use uh, some peg for that. Some uh, place it good in your movement holder and prepare. Sometimes you have to find the perfect spot for this. That is okay. And with this one, you don't need to be worried if uh, you suddenly don't find your screw for this one because I remember that was part of the date assembly or the other. I think so, I'm not sure, but we will take a look on that. So we will just keep this. So we'll probably add a cannon pinion as well now. The minute wheel. Mm. 
I will add some 9020 under the date disk. I'm not used to do this, but it did help me the last time. I mean, we're not talking much, just a little bit. Uh, see, I need to add some on my. I can see that. Just a little bit, you know. So, we'll add this now. look here a little bit uh, on this part part of the date mechanism and you go when so we have this little spring also which needs to be down there this will be interesting be a little bit problematic but we'll turn this over Oh, this is going to be like interesting. There you see the tension were really strong there, so Oof. this is just something that needs to be dealt with mm. accordingly and uh, Again, Hmm. 
first time at least it seemed to I don't know yeah so okay Here we go again. This is not good. This is going to be a little bit complicated. Especially if that thing just fly away. And I could not see where this time where it went. Oh, it's there, it just. And now it flew away. Hmm. Well, this is a bit tricky on this one. Mm hmm. Oh, well, these things can't be too easy, right? If it would be too easy, then everyone would work with this one. <laughs> I will just try to fix this. <clears throat> so I managed to just place the spring back and the disc, and then I placed this one and tightened with the screw there uh, so hopefully now I will try to see if I just can adjust this little bit because I don't know maybe maybe not I hope it is intact there um, yeah, according to the, let's see, has to be a little bit more in the middle there. I mean, this one there. So let's see if I can fix that or not. Sometimes you can move this, but I don't know. Mm. Let's take a look on that. Might be. Uh, we'll see about this it works or not oh let's take a look here also um, This is holding the set bridge. Uh, sadly, I can't can't see if it's connected or not now. So that is something we have to check first, of course. I think it's connected now, or maybe not.
Hmm. See from this side, and since this one is connected there, there. And so take a look there. It was a little bit difficult to see that, of course. Actually, I could uh, place it like this. I removed everything. I managed before to fix the date. Uh, so now I have removed this one. It belonged to this one. So probably I just removed it a little bit too, um, anyway, too quickly before because this one belongs to the set bridge. Uh, and we can see here a little bit now connected and all of that and now we have to add everything here again uh, we will see if I can add this the other one is under tension this are okay I think it's okay and then carefully just and uh, now probably you should uh, add this one super carefully, I noticed that. Let's see, turn this. Okay. Um, if you're too, if you're not careful enough, this one will fly away. Below it happened to me. So it's okay like that, yes, now place the screw, use, uh, let's say, let's use 60 millimeters for that one. Uh, finally, we can double check the date mechanism and uh, this is the results of it. And I'm happy, it feels good when I'm doing this. Look at the date now, how it will. So we have it, uh, we have it working then. So now we can actually continue with the next. Now we can continue with the next side as this one is working. Um, but basically, yeah, um, that it was how it was working. And uh, I kind of like this state uh, mechanism very much. Look at this. It's good. I added some 90 to 20 under there also. We will remove the hour wheel for now and we will continue with the rest of the watch. Uh, just double check a little bit here, but yeah, I think I push them in a little bit and the same here. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Let's continue with the other side. This is where the begin, fun begins. <laughs> so we will take a look here then. Um, um, yeah, so. Um, let's see here. And then we should probably have uh, this one and
you go. And then we will have the escape wheel. Escape wheel. Let's see if we can add that one. Maybe it uh, if it has to be hmm yeah hopefully so let's take a look here on this part then Oh, I placed the bridge now. The train bridge, and I like what I see here. So let's take a little bit look here. I placed this one here. Not completely sure how how that one works, but uh, we will definitely take a look on on uh, that just to see if we can fix this so um, feel maybe that it was more Continue to add the rest of the screws here. Ok, 
Okay, and then the final one, which goes there. So. Great, okay. So we'll add the crown wheel now. See if I can. See if I manage to fix this. Or not. Not so, so easy sometimes. This has to go to the opposite direction also, I think. Opposite or not, that's what I remember of it. Um. Maybe I'm wrong with this one. Uh. The thing under it can also be incorrect placed. Doesn't help that this one is magnetized. <laughs> Troubleshooting this little bit for a while is the barrel bridge, and I just wanted to see a little bit. I have difficult to place everything back here, but I think maybe I can see now how it works. As you see, there is something there, so if I place that one there, that one. Uh, Should be working, and then we have to like place everything back again like this. Um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, but that one will probably. When I turn it around, it will be loose, but okay, so now I know how to place it there. Um, so this one a little bit tricky with that one, 
so That would be perfect if it just if it could keep that position. So probably we'll make a little mm -hmm. I can try this one. Just to place it upside down, because or something from this side. Something and I hope, yeah, there we have it. So let's take a look now. This is anti clockwise. We've done the most tricky step here in this one. This still doesn't connect, I'm not sure how to. Hmm. So, here we have the um the donor movement wasn't really working until I moved this one a little bit <laughs> then it has been working a little bit so that's good uh, it's very nice uh, and we'll just take a little look here on the setup because this is the one which uh, was missing um, let's take a look then on this one uh, see also so I to release it I use clockwise so we have that one loose now we don't have to it makes so that one disappear. Yeah, so study this one a little bit also. Because we don't really know how it sits there. Mm-hmm. 
Caffeine. It's the same one now. So if I want to place that again. So take a note on this screw. What it looks like. And then it's counterclockwise. Yeah, easy. So that shouldn't be a problem. Then, um, Okay, so uh, we have this one, we can leave it and continue with our uh, the one we were working on. Works perfect. So now we can continue with the reassemble of this one. Now we get plenty of spare parts to use also. Happy to continue with this. Perfect. This is going exactly in the direction we want, right? So, uh, let's take a look here on the pallet fork. Okay, if I just move it to the right opposite side. <laughs> so I can add this one like that. Yeah, so. And we want to keep this a little things a little bit. Hmm. 
that's okay and I feel maybe yeah I think I know the problem now um, because I noticed this screw was identical probably I mixed the screws up and uh, for every reason I it didn't work with the other one before and I lost it. Mm, you see this one? Reminds me about the crown screw, right? So the one I confused with were probably this one. Uh, let's take a look if this one works in the donor movement. Well, it's yeah. So that was the problem then. I confused the. I mixed the screws, and uh, so the one I actually lost were the one for the paddle fork bridge. Because when I were assembling uh, the other one, I had so difficult placing it because it didn't work. Uh, but now I know, so yes, I can. Now that one is back there, but I lost the pallet fork screw, uh, so I can take this one. Um, for that reason, you have a donor movement. Uh, that screw probably it's a little bit easier to replace. But if you choose a larger one, then you might get some problems because if it's too large, then it will interfere with the balance. I have done that before also. Balance is all. So let's take a look on this one. This is Yeah, it's much longer, of course, placing this one there will solve this. <sighs> Sorry, I got some uh, fibers here as they say. So I probably think this one should be something like this. Well, if it works then I would be super happy if it was that easy to just place it back like that. Let's take a look. Okay, you can see that it interferes with that one. I will zoom in a little bit so you can see. I just placed it back like that. Can you see everything moves? Hmm. Which one? Hmm. Yeah, I think mm. 
several is moving, but this one should move as well. Not sure. Had a little quick look at the original video uh, and it seems to be connected. Maybe the, this, the crown wheel doesn't need to be spin. The most importantly is of course that this one moves and the other ones. So I'm happy with that. So we can actually continue with this. But there is just something we forgot to place here as you can see so we will we will release it a little bit again just some difficult to place it so I oops there you go we'll actually uh, take the balance I just want to make sure that one is stays there and we will place the balance back in also before we continue with that. We don't want to well it's important we do accordingly here and see. So I have just uh, oiled the um, shock proof setting on both sides. I couldn't show you this one time, but next time I will show you. Uh, and I think we have a fully working watch here, hopefully. Um, now it's time to uh, continue with the assemble and let's place uh, the automatic wheel once more to see if we can actually fix it or not yeah probably will work fine uh, let's see now we have remember the last time uh, let's see here Last time I was doing this, it was working a little bit better though. Let's see if I can just, or maybe not. Let's see. Connected now. <clears throat> so there are just two screws holding uh, the automatic rotor and the other one should be also on the other side there as you see I 
let's take a little look. Yeah, it's supposed to be just and look like it. Let's try once more then. Good, good, so uh, let's take a look here and we'll add the screws on the other side here. Just want to take a little look. this one so my finger is holding a little bit touching the pin a little bit so we will have to Well, no, it's it's used the white one and this one. I could maybe my needs a little fix. Getting there now. 
so now we will uh, change the date here and then we will place the hours and second and minute hand Since it's a little Let's see if it works or not. Yeah, there they does. So now it's convenient to place the hands here. So now let's begin with the hour hand then. This one. Okay, not uh, let's try again. Second hand. Cool. A little control here on the watch. See, it doesn't stuck in the. And let's see how it will change the date to twenty seven. Also, it just changed, so I have to spin this. Of course, another one. One. Another 12 hours and then probably it will change day if it's good. Don't like it so much this uh, crown. I should change that one. Let's see now. Yeah, now it begins to change. And there you go. Uh, that's good. So I chose uh, this uh, black strap for this. Uh, probably I bought this one on Wish. Um, I think it uh, was a nice and cheap one. Um, 18 uh, millimeters uh, there, size 18. And uh, we will see how this one will work from now on. But uh, so far so good. As I said, just uh, this. Uh, where the crown is somewhere I have to fix, but uh, yeah, another another time maybe. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.